What's going on, YouTube? Check this out. Now, obviously, Ed here with TGH, and there was a noise. Now, an hour ago, or maybe an hour and a half ago, I was in the house, came out, checked on the rats. Made sure to check every tub, like I do. Went back in the house. Come back, one of the tubs has all of the substrate on one end pushed all the way to the front, and it's all built up. What's going on, International Exotics? What's up, BP? Heather, Nightbot on the job. Um, so everything was pushed forward, and I heard something. So I thought it was interesting, and I was like, I think everyone's going to dig this. Yes. Those are little babies. 14 of them, to be exact. So that's amazing. I thought that was really cool, and I thought to myself, I'm going to have to tell everybody, so here you go. Now, five females, one male, one week a time for the females. What's going on, Platinum? Aqua balls, what's popping? So, yeah, I figured this is interesting. And again, good old-fashioned vintage rack provided by International Exotics. Bam, with a little upgrades and so on and so forth it's functional rat food water lines simple setup very cool ah feeling about it my wife said she had a feeling about the rats yesterday so that's really cool so guys i've been trying to figure out you know what industry i'm gonna jump into next so it's it's funny because like i can get a job at security but right now the security jobs aren't really paying that much you know what i'm saying so, not trying to do that, but I could. So, taking little side jobs here and there. And uh, I'm doing the roofing. Roofing's fun. Roofing is fun. Um, but the rainy season, you would think they'd have a bunch of work. But they only send out like two or three crews when there's like 14 crews there in the morning. And I drive all the way from Marietta to Santa Ana, which is like a two-hour drive in the morning. And I do that. And then all of a sudden, they don't have work. So, that's, you know... A little sad. You get back and I'm, mm, I didn't get to go to work today. Which I mean, some people will be like, yes, but I got bills to pay. So I go ahead and relax and get to hang out with my animals on those days. And I'm not really a big rat person, but uh, a rats, there are, right? Why not? So this girl was the one that has her babies. This was the first, these are these two are here. This one and this one right here were the first two to be here. And I believe she's knocked up too. So if that's the case, then if she's all nice and knocked up, then we should have a similar result from her. And then this girl right here. What's up, folks? Chilling. How's it going? So the boy is the black one, and the girl is the light one. I don't know if you guys can see them. But again, rotation, once a week. This girl just had her week, so there you go. That's how we're doing it here. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm having fun doing it, or at least trying. And just so you know, there's 14 people here. There's uh, seven thumbs up. Probably a problem with the counter thing, you know, the thumbs up thing. If you guys could check that for me real quick, I'd appreciate it. Now, Bad Blood Reptiles is in the house. What's popping? How's it going? Big John Reptiles. Big John, how's it going? What you doing? How's it been? Uh, reception's horrible in here. So I'm going to go raid my house. How about that? Let's go raid my house. Now, while we're doing that, let's start off with, hmm, let's say hashtag time. Let's see some amazing hashtags. Go ahead, send those in right now. Remember, be a little creative. Oh, my goodness, it's dark. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yo, what's good? We're chilling. We're in the house. Oh, see, I got a high. Kids are over there in the room chilling. Okay. 
That's just how they do it over here. All right. Let's go to this area. You guys know this space over here, right? So basically, this is the TGH area. And this area is where we have our ball pythons. Oh, Alex seems super excited. Alex, why are you so excited? I don't know. <laughs> Just super excited. Loving the herps. I love that. Reptile family in the house. So, basically, we got some cool things here. My boy, taking his rest, he uh, got to have a date with the pastel. Ate right after. So, yeah. They're all doing pretty well. Relaxing. The classic girl did not eat. So, you know, bummer there. Every Oh, no. And the G-Stripe head VPI girl. She didn't eat either. Yeah, you know, why not? Bam. Chilling. It's like in my front room. Look at it. Super mess. Ah! Normal life. Um, the kitchen. Chilling in here. Oh, snaps. You know how we do it. My mother-in-law loves the puzzles, so she finishes one, goes to the next. I think that's funny. It's hilarious to me. What's going on? Self-sound snakes. How's it going? What's popping? How is your evening day? Hmm, I don't know. What is it over there? What time you got over there? Oh, yeah. LSR fire in the house. It looks like he's in a shed. That leopard girl. I like her. She's a little meanie head. But I dig her. Oh. Right now, we're going to leave her be. She was like, leave the leopard pastel girl alone. That's how she felt. But yeah, everyone just ate. It was like yesterday, the day before yesterday. Oh, my goodness. My boy, JRG, is doing a Merry Christmas, has his little video. I'll go over there and show some love. We want to make sure that we all go support our friends in the reptile community. All right. Let me see. Let's see some boogers. What do you think, little booger? It's a nice little snake there. This snake is a banana spider pastel pinstripe. Yep. That was pretty cool, right? And then we got the pastel girl in the back. She's always a little booger. Hello. She's like, really? You want to bug me? No, I don't want to bug her. Let me see. Oh, Nipper. Let's go open up Nipper's thing. Nipper is a nut job. All right, here's Nipper. Hi, Nipper. Like, he is not social. I can barely hold him. There are very few that can hold him. And some orange dream over here. Oh, yes. Orange dream. My wife got me her. So, you know, there's cool stuff over here. I'm getting a lot of texts right now, huh? Hmm. Let's see. We got the clown head hypo. I know I'm not being too loud. The kids are having fun in the room. Mother-in-law is relaxing in her room. You know, doors are open. So I figure we'll just vibe, hang out, do our normal thing. Check this out. Do you guys see those? These are four stickers, custom-made stickers. One is TGH crew, hashtag TGH crew. The other one is hashtag positivity movement. You know, that's a nice one. Hashtag reptile family and hashtag Positivity dap. Boom. Got to give you that love. You know, it's not violent. We're dapping it out. So I hope everybody's been having a good evening. I hope you've been vibing. Hope you've been having a good time hanging out with your friends. Remember, these type of things are exactly what we make of them. If we have a good time vibing with one another, that's what it is. Good time vibing with one another. Now, let's see this fire girl over here. This is my wife's snake. She's older than she looks. And I dig her. She's a nice snake. Now, I got my sulfur over here. You guys want to see a sulfur? 
Hello. Why, hello, darling. She's a pretty snake. And, you know, I didn't really believe it. They're like, oh, you know, they get so much nicer when they get older. Believe it. Here's a flame. <laughs> Sub chunky girl. How are you doing? I like how they all like stare at the phone like, why is there another snake getting next to my tub? It's you. It's you. All right. Here's the pastel head clown. This girl was a gift from Cusco. She's in shed right now. Oh, yes. Very, very beautiful right there. Oh, what's going on, Shelly? Robinson in the house. How's it going? I don't know why I haven't fixed that yet. Oh, yeah. So this right here is called the Aqua Balls Pastel. Okay, you ready? Aqua Balls Pastel. Why? Because we don't know what it is. He says, Het Orange Ghost Pastel. We're not sure. Gorgeous. Yes, look at that tail. Gorgeous, but we call it the Aqua Balls Pastel because we just don't know. What do they call them? A, a dinker or something like that? Until we know. Yeah. Here's a... All right. Does anyone here speak Spanish? Or, you know, there was even an American version of this uh, show that I'm about to say. All right. It's called Betty La Fea, which is Ugly Betty. All right. So this is Inchy Betty La Fea. Because my wife thinks this inchy girl is ugly. I think she's gorgeous. So we're in a disagreement there. But check her out. I think she's really nice. Oh, yeah. So whew, I got something in my eye. Oh, no, I'm being attacked. Let me see. Check this dude out. Handsome devil there, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, ugly Betty. You know, like, she's, because my wife thinks she's ugly. So, the funny part is, because my wife thinks she's ugly, and I think she's beautiful, and I figured we'd have a nice name for her, we went with ugly Betty. But it's Betty La Fea in Spanish. And it was because there was a show when I first started dating my wife and um, kids are fighting in the room. Well, when I first started dating my wife, I was trying to learn Spanish so I could talk with her mom. And that was important for me, but it took me a while to get to the point to where I could actually carry these conversations. And I did it through watching the soap opera and that, that worked for me. So one of the first snakes I got was this dude here. And it was because they said mean, aggressive, he bites anyone who tries to touch him. And again, that's my fire boy. He's an amazing dude. I dig him. He's not as aggressive as they say. He does not like to be bothered. But nevertheless, he's a great snake. My son keeps asking if he can use the headphones on Fortnite. And I don't let them use them because... There's people there that are saying silly stuff, and we have a rule that as soon as they hear anything like that, like they just jump off the game and start another one, and it goes in with another set of people. Because I've noticed, like, again, if one person in the group says something negative, the other ones feel comfortable saying the, you know, the hurtful things and blah, 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 or even just behaving improperly, you know, so they'll do that. And again, no one's a saint. You know, like, you know, I can understand certain things to a certain extent. I'm very realistic. You know what I mean? But if they jump into it and it's like beep, 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 beep. And it's like instantly got to go and start another one. And, you know, it's fun. But then they don't get to correspond with them. And I think it's kind of funny because, like, they get in the zone and they're, like, building something and everything. I think it's a creative type of thing for them, environment for them to have a good time. But, again, it needs to be monitored. Like, um paying attention to what they're doing right now and that's important their grandmother's right here and honestly i just wanted to hang out with you guys for a second but at the same time i know that they're just having a blast so have you got a chance to play yet yeah do you do you play very well yeah yeah and yeah. so what, what's your favorite part about playing the video game yeah. on the spot um that there's always new updates that 
now there's the update that you get to fly airplanes and shoot. Oh, wow. So now they're into the new airplane feature of it. I guess let's go over there and see if that's what they're doing. Let's just double check. So are you guys flying an airplane? Yeah. All right, look. Well, there you have it. And since they're having fun doing that, I'm okay with it. I like to let them enjoy themselves. Why not? Who wants to see a big snake? Yeah. Uh oh, my son wants something. Little Alex is asking for something. Yep. You want some water? Yeah. Here, you can have one of this right here. The little mini kid waters. Why not? It's so tiny because you're so tiny. So here, you drink this one. Here you go. Go enjoy it. He doesn't like being tiny. He thinks he's like super big. Drink that one and then after you're done with that, then I'll get you some of the flavored water. Because they have flavored water in there as well. And he wants that because it's sweet. Let him drink, get some good water down him real quick. Then you can have some of that. Why not? All right. So, kill the light in the kitchen. There's no need for all the lights on. I feel like I used to hate the uncles and stuff and the people that were just like so all over the lights, like all crazy over it. And now that I'm older, I'm like, light, 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 light. <sighs> I'm getting old. Anyways, let's see. So, my wife actually took notes. She helped me do some feeding. And she was like, this one ate, this one didn't eat, this one took this long. She actually timed them within a two-hour bracket, which I thought was interesting because I never thought to do that. So that was her play. I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Now, back to what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. All right. Um, hmm. Let's check on the classic girl. Oh, she's just right there. Hello. Now, this girl... When I first got her, she had the worst case of scale rot ever. Like, horrible scale rot. And she was just in a bad place. Like, she was very underweight. And uh, she didn't really want to eat. But strong eater every single time now. Obviously, scale rot. Oh, yeah. Beautiful white under there. And uh, she's a healthy girl, loving life. And I enjoyed the fact that she was a rescue. Dude was selling her for like 125. I went there and seen the condition she was in. And I was like, dude, what do you need right now for me to take her off of your hands? Don't worry. She'll have a good life with me. And uh, I forgot what I paid for her. But it wasn't, it was nothing. Like, I think I paid like maybe around 25 bucks or something because I was just upset. And at the end of the day, I vented, if you will, with the guy and was like, dude, you can't do this. Like, I was like, dude, I'm new to this. And, I, mm -mm. and he was like, all right, I get you. And next thing you know, bam, she's here. Uh, again, it was figuring out how to deal with the scale rot. What was the best course of action? And that was because people in the community had information out there. And again, information Really, truly is what it's all about. All right. So uh, let's go take a look at Alex's favorite snake. This is the bumblebee. Gorgeous, big and fat bumblebee. Yes, I love the spider gene. It's amazing. I obviously know that we got to be very cautious with the fact that you don't want to do anything that's harmful for the snakes. So just be cautious of what genes you can and can't mix. Just do your research when you're going to do the pairing. Look it up first. Tons of information out there. And, uh, yeah, you'll get your honest opinion. So, like, I plugged up, uh, you know, a lesser spider to a super Mojave. And uh, why not? Because I thought that would be a good way to go. That's what we did. That's how it's going to be. And uh, it was just for one run. See how it goes. One pairing. Did it that time with those ones. Uh, obviously, I did a few different pairings, but that was their one connection, if you will. They've eaten. Let's take a week off. We'll try it again. 
see how that goes. And uh, got to work on that incubator. I don't know, procrastinating or something. But either way, we'll get to it. Now, I'm glad everybody came over here vibing, relaxing. Sounds like they're having a blast in there. So this is what we're going to do. All right. Let's go ahead and connect with our friends in the reptile community. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Email time. Go ahead. You may have done it before. Go ahead and do it again. Someone may have a question that you might have an answer to. You might be wanting to reach out to somebody and they're right here right now. You may have a question or you may just want to say, what's up? How you doing? This is your friend wanted to just have a conversation with you. You may be interested in some more, some amazing tarantulas. Hit up my boy, Dean. Dean, I'm in love with my Honduran curly hair tarantula. Although I am scared and I have not taken it out, I have been uh, enjoying its vibe. So super cool with that. I'm digging it. I'm enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Aquaball's got some amazing stuff over there. And you know what? He's in love with that, too. Dean, you're an amazing dude. Thank you so much for that. Wow. What can I say? Tarantulas. Uh, ball pythons, of course. Now a crusty gecko. Dude is amazing. We call him Arthur. His name is Arthur in the house. King Arthur, of course. And King Arthur loves his little area, his realm. I love it. I think it's amazing. I enjoy seeing him have a good time bounce around and all that good stuff they're just being loud for no reason because they're having fun so i'm gonna go over there come back over here in a second i gotta empty out some water bowls and give them some more water you know how that goes because you know just just want to keep them extra clean if you do that healthy snakes man guys gals that's what it's all about enjoy what you're doing have fun doing it Keep in mind that your efforts, they're important. You know what I mean? Like you're focusing on maintaining the livelihood of these, like their life depends on you. And also what you do, it's, it's, it's your like routine. It's like your passion. It's what you want to do it for. Enjoy that kind of stuff. Keep doing it. Have a lot of fun. Keep in mind that what you do with your time, how you do it, that's super important. The time you put into things, you're not going to get that back. So when you do it, when you focus on building a better tomorrow, those little bits of effort today that you put in, you're going to get to see them. The progression happens. I appreciate all you folks. Continue to spread the love, right? Get someone amped about reptiles. Educate someone. It's an amazing thing to see someone experience Love for reptiles for the first time. I am infatuated with the fact that there are so many amazing people and so many different amazing animals and morphs and so on and so forth and breeds and whoa, there's lizards and then there's like the creepy crawlers. I'm telling you, it blows me away. Again, much love to everybody. Continue being positive people. I hope you guys have a great evening. Just wanted to hang out, vibe, you know, Things have been rearranging and so on and so forth. So I haven't got some time to do some of the green screen work and all that. Maybe we'll do some of that this weekend. Have a great evening. Have a great morning. Be positive. Remember, you're going to get through any of these obstacles. As long as you have the right mindset and you're progressing, that you're working on a better tomorrow. Remember, the person you were yesterday, that person is gone. And the person you are today is working on the best version of yourself for tomorrow. You know we got a lot of love for you guys. Let's do this again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.